As May came to a close, the mountains opened to summer. The trees blossomed into brilliant greens. The air warmed with the sun. And the glacial rivers rushed with snow melt. And with each began a time of year that always fills my heart. Outside of the shifts in the season, these days have been made of many more things. Of settling the organization of space in my new home. Of the starts of many new herbal crafts made off the margins of this new season. And of course, the efforts of beginning my herbal business once again. Grim has a little bit of a toe infection going on, so he has been sentenced to the cone, but he'll be all right. Just a few days of being a little sad. So I have drawn out a couple of different designs. These ones I still need to ink in before I can really finalize them, but this design is one I did a couple years ago, and it's one that I've loved for a long time. And so I think these three will be uh, the starters, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see once these are inked in how I feel. Alrighty, so I have been working today on some of the drawings. I um, had one of them finished that I did a long time ago of a moth that I just adore and thought that it would be a good design to start with. And then beyond that, I wanted to focus more on plants. Uh, there is some symbolism behind them. This is lemon balm. I don't know how well it's gonna show up. I will talk a little bit more about the symbolism behind all of these once I have them all finished and designed. And then this one was supposed to be mint. Um, I didn't really do a perfect job with it being mint. I don't know if it's gonna show up perfectly because it isn't fully inked in yet. But so far I'm really happy with these designs and it's been really fun to get to work on them. I love drawing like this and designs like this and it just feels like I'm going back to my roots and I, yeah, just very happy. For the past couple of days, I've been working really hard on trying to figure out exactly what I need to get done. Namely, designs for the t-shirts, these guys, and setting up a website, which has been um, challenging to say the least, but I feel like I'm starting to figure it out. Well, that's not entirely true, but... <laughs> I'm getting there. There's still a lot more to do to get everything started, but I feel pretty good about where I'm at now. Kinda. 
still fiddling with so many different ideas and I think just the thinking about it has been the most exciting and so that at least is good. So here I have some dandelions that I set to dry a while ago. I picked them really early spring and started to dry them and honestly just forgot about them. And I just checked on them for the first time and quite a few of them decided to go to seed while they were drying. And that is just so funny, I've never seen that happen before. They really are so beautiful though. When I first set these dandelions to dry, I did so with the intention of crafting a dandelion, calendula, and rose salve. Mainly just for burns and kitchen things. I like to craft one of these every year. And these ones were just the first to pop up, but now that I have my roses and calendula, it is time to uh, finally set those to dry and pack these guys away until I'm ready to make the oil. I need this basket for, I think, the calendula, and I'll put the rose in another. But it's just so interesting to see this. I've never seen this happen before. Um, they're so cute and really pretty. I'm not gonna save them to add to the oil, but I do think I wanna save them just to use in something else another time, because they seem pretty special. So, let's start that. Quite a few of these white puffballs still have some amount of their petals left over. It's super fascinating. Alrighty, so now that I have these separated, I'm just gonna pack them up and put my calendula flowers in here to dry. Gosh, I cannot get over how cute these are. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually.
This is an old harvesting basket of my parents that broke, it lost its handles. And so currently I use it to hold blankets, but I'm out of large baskets and I figured it would work pretty well to house these guys while they dry. So it's been a few days since I last filmed. I have all of my flowers set up, drying, and I am currently packing to go back home to Virginia for a bit. Uh, this has been something I've been planning for a little while. It only just came together a few weeks ago, and I kind of can't believe it. It's a very short visit. I'll only be there um, for a few days but I am looking forward to getting back there. I am hoping to stock up on some pottery from my favorite local artists there, and my mom has informed me that the cherries on our cherry tree are perfect right now, so I am gonna get as many of those as I can to bring home to make some cherry hand pies. At least that's my plan right now. But I have to finish packing and I have to finish prepping my home, watering all of my plants, making sure they're good. I just got back from dropping the dogs off at where they're staying for the time. I'm getting on an airplane, which I do not very much like flying and so I'm a little bit freaked out about that. Um, but that's okay and that's why I'm very rambly right now. But I realized just now that this video isn't perfectly closed out yet. I've done a little bit more work on the art. I've finished up the drawings and I've been editing them digitally to make sure that they can uh, work with the designs properly online to show all of those things. So those elements I'll be working on more next week as the time comes, but I feel good about the progress that I made getting the designs done. There's this one that I already showed you, and the other one is somewhere. Um, here is the finished version of this guy. So I'm pretty happy with both of them, and of course the other drawing that I already had that was finalized. And beyond that, I just have all of the other things I've currently been working on. Uh, here are the roses, a few days dried. They are so beautiful and they smell divine. The calendula is still doing what it's doing. Um, here it is. I am a little bit worried about the calendula. I'm not sure how well it'll dry. I usually like to um, have the option to shuffle it around a bit while it dries to make sure it doesn't mold and I'll be gone for too many days to do that, but I think it'll be okay. I'm rambling and not working on what I need to work on. So right now to close out before I leave. I just need to pull in my outdoor plants and make sure everybody's watered. So let's do that.
Luckily, my herb garden isn't too big just yet, and they all can fit on a uh, cookie sheet. My goal here is that there's enough water that hopefully they'll be okay, and with them being inside, they hopefully won't dry out too much, but fingers crossed. I'm not really sure how they'll do. Right now, they're all pretty happy, but you know, what can you do? And with that, all that's left now is to finish packing and get out of here. It'll be nice to be back home for a bit, so I suppose next time you'll see me, I'll be there.